to do our research, we did some research reading books. We read Fantastic Ants and we read Ant Cities. What else did we do for research? Something that wasn't a book. Juliana, what did we do that we was... We made an ant colony. We did. We made an ant colony. And, but what did we do for research that wasn't a book, but we learned from it? What else did we do, Jayla, um, to learn about ants? Besides reading the books, we did that for some of our resources, but what else did we do that wasn't a book? We okay. watched something. We watched the ant videos. We watched some ant videos. We watched what kind? We watched one that was kind of funny. We liked that kind. It was called Magic What? Magic School Bus Ants in his Pants. Magic School Bus Ants in His Pants. And we learned some things about ants from that. We also looked at some little videos. Remember of the leaf cutter ants? That was a good one from National Geographic. So that's the way we learned about ants. And then we made this for our book. How did we decide? What is this and what did we do, Juliana? We, we... What is this called? A table of contents. A table of contents. And what are all these things on here? The, like, maybe the heading of whatever the page is. The heading of whatever the page is. Now, this is Austin's, and he, we're still working on it. What's going to go on the lines over here? Sarah, what's going to go page. on the lines over here? The page numbers. The page numbers. So Austin is making the pages. The first part we decided would be what is an ant. And it looks like he's got his pretty much done. He's got to work on his picture a little bit more. So here's Austin's page for what is an ant. And what he's going to do is he's going to put a page number. Oh, he did. He put number two right down there. So right over here, he's going to write page number two, right? Because that's going to be page number two. And he, that's probably all he'll have for what is an ant. We said it, it wouldn't take that many sentences. He's just going to work on his picture. And then we have what do ants eat. And I know that Austin's going to be working on that page next. And he can do the sentences here. He can write what do ants eat, do the sentences. And then he can draw a picture of an ant with some of their food. That would be a good picture for that page. And how about the next part? Melanie, what's the next one going to be? Where do ants live? Where do ants live? And for that page, we have a little map. Because we found in a book a map that showed where ants live. And what are we going to write on that page, Jayla? Where do ants live? Um, um, places that are warm. Places that are warm. And, and not cold. And not cold. So what are some places where they don't live? Um, the Arctic. They don't live in the Arctic, Kaylee. And where else don't they live? And the Antarctic. So when you do color your map for where ants live, are you going to color way up on the top? And way up on the bottom. Are you going to color in the water, Dominic? Do ants live in water? No. But they live almost everywhere else, don't they? They live almost everywhere else. And then you're going to put the page number. When this page is done and it has a page number, then you put the page number on here. And the next thing talks about ant life cycle. Who can tell us what's going to be on the page about ant life cycle? Nevea, do you know what that's going to be, ant life cycle? What are we going to talk about on that page, Sarah? How, how they first, how, how they got, how they start out as larvas and then they turn into pupas. Then and what are they, even before they're larva, there's something else. And we're going to be using this on our... An egg. They're an egg. We're going to glue rice onto our ant colonies to show where the eggs are. And this is one of our ant colonies. It's not quite finished. And let's see if he has, here's the baby room. I bet, are you going to do eggs here where the baby room is? Yeah. Okay. And he's got some nice ant pictures there. The ones without leaves are gardens. Oh, okay. The ones with leaves are bringing the food in, and the ones without leaves are guard ants. What do the guard ants do? They, prote they protect the anthill. They protect the anthill. Okay. From danger. Mm-hmm. What else are we going to do? What's the last part of our report going to be, Austin? Interesting ant facts. Interesting ant facts. Who remembers one interesting ant fact that they're going to put in their book? Kaylee, tell us one. Um, that a that queen bee um, has... Not a bee, though, right? A queen... A queen ant a queen has ant? wings to fly. Yeah, a queen ant has wings to fly. Why does she have wings to fly? Do you remember? Mm, I forgot. You forgot. Juliana. The queen ant has wings to fly to, to fly to make it, to find a new home. 
to fly to find a new home. Good. Jayla. Um, uh, ants have um, antennas so they can communicate and mm -hmm. taste stuff? Yeah, ants have antennas to communicate with each other. When they're rubbing antennas together, they're really talking, they're communicating. They have two stomachs? They have two stomachs, we learned. That's another interesting ant mm. fact. What else, Dominic? Um, the queen's um, wings fall off. Yeah, the queen's wings fall off. When she gets to her new house, her wings fall off. That's why it, she doesn't. we don't see them very much. Kaylee? Um, this morning when I was walking to the bus, I saw an ant. Cool. You didn't wreck it, did you? No. no. Ricky, do you have anything else? What else did you learn about ants? Um, I didn't know ants have a stinger. You didn't know ants have a stinger. Yes, some ants can sting. Some of them. Juliana? That after the male ant flies to with the queen, mm -hmm. what happens? the wings falls off and then it dies. Yeah, the wings fall off and it dies. All the workers in the ant colony are what kind? Are they boy or girl ants? Are they male or are they female, Austin? Female. Female. Female are all the worker ants. Sarah? I can't believe, like, girls can, like, build this big hole. Like, this they can do it. They're hard workers. Mm -hmm. They're hard workers. Melanie, do you have anything else you learned about ants you want to tell us? That. Um, it's sad that a male, male ant dies before a female. Yeah, it is kind of sad. <laughs> that is kind of sad. One more thing, Sarah? When I was in, uh, looking at the ant hill, mm -hmm. I, saw, I saw a different kind of ant. They didn't look like the other ants, and they were, they were kind of like hitting them like their antennas. Kind of oh, like maybe, maybe those were the guard ants, and they were trying to chase away some ants that didn't belong in their colony. That could be. Jayla. Um, when I was by my house, um, outside, um, the black ants, uh, they were like, yeah, they probably don't want to be together. They want to be with their own kind in their colony, but they don't want the other ants to come. Dominic? If, if red ants are, like, on, on somebody's Well, they could. They could. Sarah? We also read the ant bully. We read the ant bully, and today we were going to talk about Hey Little Ant. We were going to talk about that one today before we go and work on our pages some more. Did anyone hear of this one before? You know this one, Jayla? I read it at the library. You read it at the library? Austin, you know this one? You read it before somewhere? And Sharon does too? Should we, we won't tell what's going to happen, though. We won't tell. I kind of like, did you notice on the front of the cover, Look at the boy's glasses. Michael, do you see what's on his glasses? There are words on there, isn't there? This one is the author. It says, by Philip and Hannah Hoos. That's kind of cool how they put the words on there. And this one says, illustrations by Debbie Tilly. So she does the pictures. And when I open the whole thing, you can see that there's an ant here. This is kind of cool because part of the book is the boy talking, and part of the book is the ant talking. And we know ants don't talk.